Hey guys, today I will be unboxing the March SCT Sampler Kit. This is a monthly subscription service from Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine, which is a Canadian magazine. They describe the kit on their website as such. The SCT Sampler is a curated package of sample sized paper crafting goodness from your favorite companies delivered right to your doorstep each month. Every month we will surprise you with a dozen different hand selected 6x6 papers and a wonderful array of specially selected embellishments to enhance your paper crafting fun. Throughout the year you'll also be introduced to stamps, dies, adhesive and so much more. And we're going to include a fun exclusive product each and every month that you won't find anywhere else. So this is a service that just started in January of this year. I think they opened the subscription window for the first time back in October. I was on the fence about signing up initially, but once I saw some unboxing videos of the January kit, I was convinced, and then seeing more unboxings of the February kit just got me more excited. So like most subscription services, it's cheaper the longer you subscribe for. Three months is $15 Canadian per month, six months is $13.50 Canadian per month, and a full year, which is what I signed up for, is $12 Canadian a month. Those prices include shipping within Canada and the US, but they do not include Canadian taxes, so it comes out to like just under $14 a month if you get the one year subscription. You do have to pay every three months rather than every month and you also pay your first three months in advance. They also have a sign up window every month. So I signed up in January and this is my first kit now in March. According to the website, the sign up window is the 15th through the 25th of every month. So if you sign up between March 15th and 25th, your first kit will arrive in May. Anyways, after that incredibly long intro, <laughs> let's get into it. I've been avoiding spoilers and unboxing videos and whatnot, so I have no idea what's in here and I am very excited. So this is how it comes out of the envelope. It's in a Ziploc bag with everything together. So this little card here is what tells you uh, what the products are that came in the kit and who they're from and all that sort of thing. So first up, we have the Tiny Tag Sayings Birthday Stamp from Lawn Fawn. I just put this on top of the stamp so you can see it. It is the exclusive acrylic word from Freckled Fawn and SCT. This is the iCraft Sticky Dots Die Cut Transfer Adhesive from ThermoWeb. I'm not 100% sure. I guess it's like a rub-on adhesive. Okay, so in hindsight, I should have pulled it all out to begin with because some of the companies have more stuff than others. So this is all the stuff that came from My Mind's Eye from the Good Vibes collection. There are a couple of 3x4 journal cards. This one says the best day ever. And it's got this pink foiling on it. And the back just says, wow. That one says you light up my life. The back says red. This one says I've totally got this. It's a sweet on the back. And this one says create a little magic every day. And it says yay on the back. Next up we have this little strip of blue enamel dots. And then there is some ephemera. There's this pink foiled um, Polaroid photo that says you are a star. Another pink foiled that just says okay. Wow, that's really not picking up. There we go. More pink foiling. This one says good times. A couple of loose stars. One's white. Oh, I'm white and black, and then one is yellow, and I can't pick it up. Oh, there's a pink foil donut, and a guitar. And then the last uh, four items from My Mind's Eye, the Good Vibes collection, are these four double-sided sheets of 6x6 six six paper. You kind of have to guess, they give you the names, but you kind of have to guess. I believe this is the Be Cool sheet. It's got pink foiling on this side. And then it's got random stripes on the other side. This is the pink Polaroid sheet, which I originally thought was Be Cool because it says Be Cool right on it, but this is the only one with Polaroid. So again, there's some pink foiling on one side and some shooting stars on the other. This is the sweet sheet, obviously, because it's got donuts. And again, with the pink foiling. And the other side is just white with blue dots. And I'm guessing this is the awesome one. Kind of random and then just green and red on the back. The next batch of goodies are from Photo Play Paper. Uh, from the or from the garden collection rather is this layered sticker. It's very dimensional with some glitter and stuff on it. Then from the paprika collection there is this sheet of punch out ephemera. 
There's this journaling card, or I guess technically it could be two journaling cards. And that's just one pattern on the back. And then there are, I think, yeah, three sheets of six by six paper. This one is called Tassels. And they are double-sided as well. There's feathers on the other side. This one I believe is called Patchouli. And then the other side is just a red pattern. And then this one is called T for Two. And then another random pattern on the back. Then there are these little tiny wooden words. I don't even know if my camera is focusing on them properly. I'm not sure if they're from the photo play paper ephemera. I'm, I kind of thought that was just the punch outs. Initially I thought they were part of it because it references copy. Like they, one says B, like B-E. One says R, R-O-U-R. Uh, there's one that says coffee, one that says us, one that says love, one that says beautiful, and then there's an exclamation mark. So the coffee initially made me think it had something to do with the photo play paper stuff, but that all references tea, not coffee. And nothing else here references coffee unless we're maybe the my mind's eye with the donuts. So I'm not sure if this is from either of those companies or if this is just an extra bit, because I, I had forgotten that they do sometimes send extra bits that just aren't on the list. Um, so I'm not sure if these are some of them or not, but they're cute. There is this flower die from Spellbinders Paper Arts. This gift tag from American Crafts, and there was also a plain white tag in here. And then we have three 6x6 cardstocks from My Colors cardstock. This is the Glacier Blue Glimmer cardstock. It's got a little bit of a shine to it. I don't know if the light will pick it up or not. Then we have the Pink Carnation Mini Dots cardstock, which is like a embossed. The dots, are, the dots are raised. And then a Delphinium Mini Dots cardstock. It's the same thing. It's got our embossed raised dots on them. And then finally, there are two more pieces of 6x6 paper that are not on the list. Again, I assume these are just bonuses. So this is like a green paper with a, like a wood grain pattern on it. It's probably hard to see on camera. And then there's a yellow one with the same pattern on it. Actually, it's not the same pattern. It's wood grain, but it's a bigger wood grain pattern. So there is all of the stuff that I got in the SCT Sampler March kit for $12 Canadian. And that included shipping. With taxes, it was $13.68 or something like that. I would definitely say that's worth the money. That's definitely a wide variety of items. Very happy with that. Very excited to see what April will bring. I will link to uh, Scrapbook Cards Today's website and their page about the SCT sampler down below if you want to check them out. And one other thing that I forgot to mention was that not everybody necessarily gets the exact same thing. Um, I think on the papers it's probably the same, but as far as like the ephemera and stuff, they're just taking an ephemera pack and splitting it up by a certain amount, right? So I know I saw a thumbnail of a, an unboxing that I haven't watched yet, and for instance it had a big... It had a, a, a donut like this, but it was like pink with white sprinkles or something. So like they, you get similar things, but not necessarily the same thing. So that's something to keep in mind too, if you are looking into giving this kit a try. Uh, and I'm very excited for April and I'm excited for the whole year now. Like I'm, I'm so happy with, with this. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please share this video if you think someone you know might like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.